Blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. I was praying with these words this morning. They applied to my life. When I was a baby, my mother consecrated me to Mary. And Mary set me apart at that moment to become a priest. And she believed that this promise made her by the Lord that I would become a priest of Jesus Christ would be fulfilled. As, as the years of my life went on, uh, there's probably not a single person in the whole world that would believe that I would become a priest, especially in my, my worst days, my darkest days when I was in university in California, there is not a person in the whole university that would have ever thought I'd become a priest, but Mary did. Blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord to be fulfilled. Mary believed, even in my worst days ever, that this promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled, that I would be her priest. She believed in my worst days ever that this promise would be fulfilled. And she was going to do whatever it took for me to become her priest. Whatever it took, including my mother's cancer. That was the instrument by which Mary made it happen. You might be confused. My mother's cancer, yes. My mother was diagnosed with cancer 13 years ago. And my dad was away on work at that time, and she was all alone. I was in university in California. And when she was diagnosed, she immediately went to church, and she, she cried out to God. And my mother opened up her prayer book, and there was this prayer. I took a picture of it. It has an image of Our Lady of Guadalupe, the feast of which we celebrate today. So my mother, who's just diagnosed with cancer, reads this prayer from Our Lady of Guadalupe. And I'll read it to you. These are the words of Our Lady speaking to Juan Diego. Just picture yourself. My mother's just been diagnosed with stage four cancer, and this is what she reads from Our Lady of Guadalupe. Let not your heart be disturbed. Do not fear that sickness, nor any other sickness or anguish. Am I not here? Who is your mother? Are you not under my protection? Am I not your health? Are you not happily within my fold? What else do you wish? Do not grieve, nor be disturbed by anything. These words inspired my mother so much that she was brought back in such a strong way to her faith. And Mary wanted through my mother, through her cancer, to bring me back home. Blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled.
Yeah, my mother never gave up on me. I knew that regardless of how bad uh, my life was, that I could always go back home to my mom and that she would welcome me as her son. And so many people know about my mom asking me to go to confession, but you know, it's Our Lady, Our Lady of Guadalupe, the words that she spoke were so profound to my mother that she became the instrument for our mother, Mary, to bring me home. Because Mary believed from all eternity that I would be her priest. And she knew that this promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. So she was going to do whatever it took for me to get to this place. And so on this feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, there are no coincidences with God. I had no way had planned for my first Mass to be on Our Lady of Guadalupe. It was not <laughs> for my idea. It was not something that I thought would happen. But obviously Mary from all eternity had planned it to be so. And so these words are not just true in my life, they're true in your life as well. Blessed is she who believed that the promise made her by the Lord would be fulfilled. Mary believes in you, her son, her daughter. I hope that this experience of my life may inspire you to realize that you have a mother, a mother in heaven. She is the queen mother. She is all, like, God has given her so much. And she loves you as her son, as her daughter. And so my heart is full of gratitude at Our Lady for never giving up on me. And guess what? She'll never give up on you either. If Mary still believed in my darkest days that I would become a priest, oh, like anything is possible with you. Anything. She still believes in you. And, ah, oh, so good. So good. What a mother. I'll say these words once more, and I invite each one of you to allow this to be a, a true message like Mary, Our Lady of Guadalupe, speaking to you right now. And I'll end with these words once more. Let not your heart be disturbed. Do not fear that sickness, nor any other sickness or anguish. Am I not here? Who is your mother? Are you not under my protection? Am I not your health? Are you not happily within my fold? What else do you wish? Do not grieve nor be disturbed by anything. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for us.